My name is John Crawford uh, and I formed a company called In the Sky Glasgow. Specifically we are offering uh, inspection surveys and well, aerial images, photography and video uh, for the reasons that it's a lot safer for me to be standing on the ground operating a drone as opposed to putting somebody at height and putting people at risk. You can use my BIM. So you're building information models right at the very start when you have a blank canvas and you can let architects, designers see what they're designing. You see the parameters, the borderlines of any site uh, very easily. During the construction phase you can report progress a lot easier by having a drone either video the site, still photographs the site, reporting back to the clients. Uh, during the construction itself you can do inspections, you can do surveys of how the build's going and then at the final end, again, thermal imaging. You can tell if the building's been built to the energy efficiency. That's what the building contractor said it was going to be. The thermal imaging drone. So that's an X-T2, which is designed by FLIR and DJI. And that's one of the best cameras in the world that you can put in the bottom of a drone. That, that gives you the ability to take a single picture, but it not only gives you a picture of the the subject of light of the building you're, you're inspecting or surveying. It gives you a thermal imaging of that same, so it's two pictures in one alongside each other. So when you download onto a computer, it gives you the ability to be able to look and see where the heat loss is in any building or large building site. The cost savings is fantastic uh, when you think that you can have a one-man team come on your site instead of a ten-man team less support required, uh, as long as the guy's qualified or the operator's qualified, then you can then get the, the operator to do your full site in a matter of hours as opposed to something that normally takes maybe days, weeks even. Skills for using drones, I would say you've got to be kind of safety minded from the, off, the offset, you've got to be safety minded. The challenges are going to be really the, the new legislation that's coming in. Uh, this year uh, and then make sure that the content of your operations manual meets the CAA requirements. And that's probably most important that the operator works safely and obviously works to his operations manual as well. Working on a project uh, from the beginning, whether it be construction site or uh, aerial survey, aerial inspection work, from the beginning, we would uh, contact the client, we'd go on site and do a risk assessment, just make sure that it was actually safe to, to have a drone in the area, because there's a lot of areas if you're working in built, built up areas, you wouldn't fly a drone to start with. Contact uh, air traffic control at the local airport, uh, closest to the building site or construction site. Once you get permission from the, the local airport, then that would give you permission to set up the, the drone, Make sure everything was safe to go and then fly the drone, complete the work. The best way to do a job with any drone, to be honest with you, is to fly the drone up, do the job, fly the drone down. No mucking about, no messing about. Do the job and put it safely back in the ground.